So I'm here with uh, Michael Jacobson. Michael, could you introduce yourself and who you work for? Well, I'm Michael Jacobson. I work for the World Bank. And, uh, and I'm here at Stockholm Water, Water Week 2011 to advertise that uh, we have a lot of really cool data on uh, how climate change impacts on water. So this database, we've been talking about it. What is it? What is the scope of, of the data that, that the World Bank is, uh, has? Basically, we've taken all the IPPC, IPCC um, model runs. So that is a total of uh, a couple, 20, 23 models. We've done it for a number of emission scenarios. And we've then looked at what happens to various hydrological indicators, indicators of flood, indicators of drought, indicators of whether you have a problem with your, with your water supply, hydropower, etc. Wow, so that's that's very big scope. How what's like this spatial dimension? Where is it? Is it? Is it's, just in Africa it's for or is it? eight thousand four hundred basins around the world. So it's basically for fifty kilometers by fifty kilometers square around the world. But but one key point is it's not square. It actually follows the watershed. So okay. if if you're a water professional or if you're somebody else interested in water, this data is quite useful. Um, and so what, why is that kind of data important for water professionals and, and, and the water sector? Well, most people have uh, a gut feeling of how climate change will affect their country. But what we tend to forget is this huge uncertainty. And what we tend to forget is that while a few simple messages are very clear, the world is getting warmer, parts of the world is getting drier, etc. There's a big, big uncertainty. And the cool thing about our data is it shows all the uncertainty and it has translated it into ways that, that can be used by people who are interested in what happens to water supply in my area, what happens to agriculture, etc. And so right now, is, is this data readily available? And, and if it is, where, where can people go to find the data and play with it? The data is available on the World Bank Climate Portal. Uh, at the moment, the way you access the data, you can get it for a particular location. And what would be really neat was if somebody would play with the data so that you could ac access it in, in, in neater ways, you know, look at it a particular country, look at a particular region, cut it in different ways. At the moment, you can basically only access it for a particular point or for that basin for which we generated the data. Wonderful. So there's lots of opportunities and people should go to this, this portal to get that data and then are they just free to use? The data is free, no, no obligations. You quote that you got it from that portal, that's it. Wonderful. Okay, well hopefully people do. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.